bought myself tickets to Oslo and I'll be flying there 5th of April for two days and I'm very excited. As I was late to attend, I only saw last 10 minutes of English presentation. The rest was in a language which was impossible to understand. It's the evening of the first day in Oslo and um, some things worked out the way I kind of wanted to. I was kind of expecting things to roll one after another and more or less it did try to chance into a few places but it didn't work out that's fine but in the same time the possible leads I don't know how good they are but it doesn't really matter there was nothing recorded from today because my battery was dead preparation isn't it but you know I feel that it's possible that this plan might work, and that's the beauty of it. And stun it. You think it's gonna work in some way, and then afterwards you change it, and it works out like it's better. Ooh, I've done too much walking. Beautiful city though. I kind of wanted the cultural shock a little bit, but there isn't much. To be honest, it feels like I'm, I'm just living here. Shops are similar to Lithuania, uh, so much far away from. Ireland Sometimes we don't appreciate how open people are. I have to groom my haircut. Short haircut doesn't go well with a border police. I would be on time where I wanted to go today if border police didn't check me. It's in one hour from Oslo airport to Oslo. Not 30 minutes as it says on GPS. One hour. In Norway they depend a lot on exchange rate and it poses a very big problem price change so often every day and actually a few times during the day that we have to change labels way too many times so we come up with a solution these are like tags which update automatically based on exchange rate you can see that it's a smart ink display i don't know what it makes sense to use it in any other application but just poses that and if you have a bigger problem sometimes you can come with a better solution now it's day two and finally i get to meet somebody within my own field, somebody who is by some people in Oslo being called a uh, social media and marketing wizard, especially Facebook. So I'm very excited to see him. I had a very interesting meeting. I'm not gonna mention his name, just in case. Because people in Norway are kind of a little bit secretive. Which is fine, it's a cultural difference. But I am actually very happy I made this journey. Because... Validation! Ching ching! Ha! <laughs> Four meetings today. Yeah, but so, so, so the point is like there, there were possible two more introductions into UK. One of them into Manchester. Which is awesome, because it's cheap flights from where I live. Oh, I have to show. So, so far, I have not been in a country yet in Europe where I see so many electric cars. Like Tesla Model S. I have to look in the stats, but it's, it's insane. Look, there's, you see, there's another orange little car in there. It's also electric. Yeah, the amount of electric cars in here is crazy. Okay, that's another electric car. Okay, there's another electric car standing at a petrol station. That's an electric car. That's an electric car. That's an electric car. That's another electric car. That's also an electric car. 
electric car. Another electric car. That's another electric car. Another kind of take. It's very easy to find things in here. Where, like, first day it seemed that uh, the dresses are done kind of in a weird way. But very quickly I was able to find stuff within like 15 20 minutes. And uh, so, if you're in Oslo, you have to know that usually one side of the street is odd numbers and another side is even numbers but at the same time it does not mean that the entrance is exactly from that side of the street so for example here uh, is a uh, Mölorgata 8 and that's entrance for that street behind me 